So today we gotta build a team to be Shaq's top 10. And I'm not gonna lie, this might be our hardest one yet because he got Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Tim Duncan, Shaq himself, Steph Curry, Magic Johnson, Karl Malone, Allen Iverson, and Isaiah Thomas. I put, you know what I'm saying, 40 overall AIs to fill out the team because it's Shaq's top 10 not like top 12. I'm letting 2K basically do the rotations for Shaq's team. They're starting Steph, Kobe, LeBron, Tim, and Shaq. Jordan is the sixth man. Magic is seventh. Carl Malone is eighth. Allen Iverson is ninth. And Isaiah Thomas is 10th. The Boston Celtics made it to the NBA Finals, so that is a team that I'm going to be controlling. And my team starts out as all 40 overall AIs. So we're going to use the handy dandy player picker board to pick my team. I'm going to start out with trying to build a big three Here's the board. I have three levels to the board. This is board number one. After every three picks, I move up a level. So after these three picks, I'm going up to level two. And after another three, I go up to level three. And then I'll have four picks on level three to finish out a 10 man rotation. And if I can't beat Shaq and them with 10, I get two extra picks to try to do it one more time. So I'm gonna start it off. Y'all know me, I'm Cinco. We are gonna go with number five. Shouldn't have went with number five because we get a free agent, 65 to 70 overall. And it's not that many 70 overall free agents. Like it really technically in a sense doesn't matter who I pick because they're not going to be able to do anything with any of those players on the team. I normally pick Furkan Korkmaz because he's 6'7". He's a shooter. I mean, but I'm you can go Michael Carter-Williams who started off good. DJ Augustine, I've never picked him. Michael Carter-Williams, 6'5", guard. I'm gonna go with him to start it off. All right, so number five was a bad one. Let's go down to the last thing. Let's go for. 44. Let's go 50. I never pick 50. And we get a star, 86 to 90. The catch about picking my team, though, is I can't pick anybody that is already in Shaq's top 10. So, like, if I get higher in the board where I could pick, like, a 95-plus overall, it can't be anybody that Shaq has on his team. But since I want to start out with a 90 overall, I just picked Michael Carter-Williams. I could go down to the 89s, for real, for real. I've never really went down to the 89s. When I see 90, I kind of stick with 90. And I see why, because the only person I would probably get at an 89 is Victor Wimbayama. But I don't know what he would do against, like, Shaq and Carl Malone and guys of that nature. So I don't really know. I mean, 89 Wimby is not too much of a difference but 90 overall Sabonis puts up decent numbers let's let's go with Sabonis actually hold on Sabonis we're gonna check his attributes real quick Sabonis has an 81 three ball and an 81 midi I really didn't know it was that good his interior defense is a 70 though if we go to Wimby Wimby has a 78 three 71 midi he, I mean he is taller 74 his interior is an 88 and he has a 99 block I'm taking Victor with Mariama. and then to round out our big three let me go to the middle board and give me number 22 we get a role player 76 to 80 not bad so for 76 to 80 let's try to look maybe for a scoring type of wing player we got michael carter williams at point we got wimby at the center slot now we can get a scoring type of you know wing or we can get somebody that's gonna play some defense i do like andre iguodala at an 80 i don't think i've ever picked iggy while trying to build my team i don't like jordan Poole. lou dort can guard and score at the same time i pick miles bridges sometimes but he's always in a backup role who have i never i don't think I, well, I picked Oubre once before. I've never picked Buddy Hill, but I don't know if I want to try. I'm just going to check his attributes. 88 three-pointer, but no defense, right? Yeah, no defense whatsoever. I mean, can I go down? Lou Dort has an 83 three-ball with a 90 perimeter. What does Dylan Brooks have? Dylan Brooks is probably the next best defender. 79 three-ball, 91 perimeter. I mean, Lou Dort and what you call it are battling. Bill Bradley, who are you? 86 midi, 83 ball. Can you play defense? though no 78 world be free it's got to be a young world be free and he's 6'3 i'm not picking world be free i'm sorry need a wing player 6'7 mm, rick fox Ugh, 73 three ball is bad i mean you can guard a little bit eric snow can't shoot for anything oh hold on karan butler we're gonna check karan butler if i don't like what karan butler's doing hold on 86 eight, i mean 88 86 Go down, Karan Butler, defense, 75. Iggy, 78 three ball, but what is the perimeter on? 90. Ooh, do I take Iguodala? Let me get Iguodala. So here's our big three, Victor and Mayama, Andre Iguodala, Michael Carter-Williams. And these guys are definitely getting the bulk of the minutes. We're starting it off. It says 10-man rotation, but I want to start this off with an eight-man just so they can play more minutes. And yeah, let's see what happens here. Even though I know we're going to get smacked by, you know what I'm saying, game one. We lost by 101 points in game one. LeBron literally had a triple-double. Shaq had a double-double. Karl Malone had a double-double. Jordan had 30. Wimby 
22 and 19. 10 for 39 is crazy, but he had four blocks. Iguodala 12-5, Michael Carter Williams 13-3. I mean, game two, we lost by almost 100 again. I mean, LeBron another triple-double. Timmy with a double-double. Shaq with a double-double. Kobe with a double-double. Wimby. I mean, I picked Wimby for a reason. 32 and 16. They can't stop Wimby. I just need to get some pieces around Wimby. Game three is 135 to 72, so we're getting closer. Wimby is dominating. 43 and 14, but you know what I'm saying? Double double here for Carl Malone, double double for LeBron, and then they're gonna win the championship. You know what I'm saying? You guys to know that. Wimby gets finals MVP though. So Victor Wimbayama was a great piece to start us off with. And the box score, wow, almost lost about 100 again. I mean, 42 and 16, double double for LeBron. It's tough. So we're back to the board, and now we are on the tier two board, which gives us a better chance at a better player. But we're only gonna have two selections right here because I want to round out my starting five. Let's go to second row, box 20. We get another role player, 76 to 80. And then let's go third row, 35. We get a starter, 81 to 85. So another role player, 76 to 80. I mean, I need a shooting guard and I need a power forward. I don't know what I want to get with that 81 to 85 range, to be honest. I probably could get a better power forward right here miles bridges maybe pj washington i mean six seven six seven rui hachimura rui has an 82 three ball and a 90 midi what is his defense though perimeter defense is a 54 they say rui don't guard nobody 78 from three for miles 59 damn he don't guard nobody either pj 83 what is your perimeter they don't guard nobody they are knockdown shooters to an extent, but they don't guard anybody. Lou Dort. Oh, I could get Lou Dort. He's 6'4", though. He's kind of small. Yeah, I mean, Miles Bridges... Rui, okay, Miles Bridges, 78-3, Rui, 82-3, PJ, 83-3, so let me get Rui. And then for my 81-85 to 85 starter, Rui could play the four. I mean, Michael Carter-Williams can move to the two if I grab the point guard, but I don't know what point guard I would even want to grab at 85. I mean, I like Penny Hardaway. I pick Penny a good amount when I'm doing this because, I mean, he just puts up numbers. You put Penny next to Wimby, that might could be the start of something. If we get better players down the line, they could kind of move to the bench, but I mean, I don't know... Where else I would go here. So yeah, let me go. Let me be, you know what I'm saying, normal and get Penny Hardaway. All right, so here's our five. Wimby, Penny, Iguodala, Rui, Michael Carter-Williams. And I'm not going to lie. I'm literally putting this as a five-man rotation. So our starters are the only ones that are playing. They put Penny at the one, Michael Carter at the two. Rui's at the three, Iguodala's at the four, and then Wimby's at the five. Let's switch that, put Rui at the four, and see what happens. Well, Sim game one, Lakers win, but how much do they win by? I mean, not bad. 40, what was that? 48 points, okay. Double double from Shaq. That's the only double double. Rui had led us in scoring with 18. Wimby, I don't like this drop off to 13 and 12. You just want to find his MVP and was putting up like 40 balls. But I'm not liking that drop off. Lakers win again. They win by 60 six in this one any double doubles jordan had a double double i mean steph is hooping braun is hooping they're hooping you know what i'm saying henny 24 okay there we go wimby 24 and 11 i don't know why they, they so they changed my stuff they changed my stuff oh no they didn't they just let somebody else play because these guys really can't play 48 minutes a game i guess so yeah all right game three lakers win wimby 27 and 15 and then let's see double double from shaq double double from carmelo double double from lebron james and i'm expecting them to win this game too so yeah, they win the championship. This time Shaq gets the finals MVP 18 and 10. And Wimby had 30 and 10. Penny had 23 and 5. Rui 11 and 4. And then yeah, this is what it looks like. Only a double-double from Carl Malone and Steph Curry. And then they beat us by 55 points in game four. All right, so this is our last selection on the tier two board. Let me go number one. We get a star, 86 to 90. I think with this 86 to 90, I need a wing player. So I'm going to go ahead and go Carmelo Anthony because I need a score off the wing. And I am now on the tier three board. We have six players. So we get four selections on the tier three board, but we're only going to do one right now. Actually, let me hit this shuffle. Shuffle this up real quick. See if we can get a better chance. We need like a 96 to 99 GOAT level player. Let me get 25 and we get a superstar, 91 to 95. All right, so my starting lineup currently, I think would be like Penny Hardaway at the one. I got Melo at the three. Then I'll have Wimby at center. Then you got Iguodala in there as well. So, I mean, I can't really go wrong with my selections. I could pick up Scottie Pippen, which is a big pickup. I don't like Dirk at big against the bigs that's there. I don't really want to go down to 94 or 93 overall either. So, like, Scottie Pippen stands out. Anthony Davis is okay, but I don't know if I want to put... I mean, I could put Anthony Davis next to Wimby. But then we got Penny, Melo, Anthony Davis, Wimby, and then probably, like, Iguodala. 
big with Dallas starting, but then I can do Pippen. And Pippen, I got Pippen and Melo. Pippen can play the four. Wimby, Pippen, Melo, Penny. And then hopefully our team gets better from there. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me go Scotty Pippen. All right, so we added Carmelo and Scotty Pippen to the team, man. Pippen is the best player on the team, 95 overall. Carmelo is 90. Wimby is an 89, so we now have a big three. Since we have seven players, I am going to go seven man rotation right here. See what happens. All right, so this looks decent. Penny, Scotty, Mello, Iguodala, Wimby. I mean, I could I could put Iguodala at the two, but I mean, Iguodala at the four is not bad. Seven man rotation. Let's see what it gets us. I don't know what happens here. Game one, the Lakers win, but they win. We're getting closer. They win by 41. We only got no no double doubles, finally. Carmelo 26 and 8. Wimby 24 and 13. Scotty 18, 6 and 5. Okay, that's decent. Game two, the Lakers win and they win by 18. We're literally getting better. 18 is the closest we've been this whole time. Our eight man rotation is staying intact because the AI teammates are not playing. So, all right, cool. Game three, they beat us by 15. So, we're literally on the cuffs. If our next three selections are like decent players, you know, we really have a chance at winning right here. LeBron is the only person with a double double there. They're going to win this game, game four. LeBron takes the finals MVP, and there's nothing wrong with that. We lost by 34. But I like the trajectory and where we're going. Now, we have three straight selections on the Tier 3 board. Let's go number 18. We get a star, 86 to 90. And because I saw they got Andre Iguodala starting at our four spot, let's see who can we put right there for Andre Iguodala. I like this 90 overall Draymond Green because he has an 85 three-pointer and his interior defense is a 97. Him at the four is literally guarding somebody at the four. And I think he would be a better fit than Sabonis as well. Even though he is 6'6 and Sabonis is 6'10, he shoots the ball better than Sabonis, has better interior than Sabonis. And I also think Draymond's perimeter is not bad i mean 69 compared to sabonis though sabonis perimeter is probably not as good as draymond's 49 so yeah let me let me go ahead and get, wait hold on chris weber 73 ball 90 midi interior yeah let me get draymond all right two more selections we need gold players 96 to 99 Give me box 42. We get another superstar, 91 to 95. So this is where it gets tricky because our starting lineup literally is Penny, Scotty, Mello, Draymond, Wimby. I could get Devin Booker and put Booker at the one. Steve Nash could be the point guard. Derrick Rose could be the point guard. I mean, this is tough. I can't pick Steph because he's already there. I don't trust Jerry West. I don't like Julius Irvin enough because he cannot shoot the basketball and his perimeter is decent. I mean, Book at point guard, he's really knocked down. His perimeter is a 77. Steve Nash doesn't have perimeter. D. Rose perimeter is a 74. And Book is actually the taller. So he's 6'6". Let's take Book. And then I got one more selection. I'm begging you, tier three board, please give me a GOAT player. Let's go 38 star, 86 to 90. So this would have to be somebody coming in to hoop off the bench. I don't know where I want to go. I probably don't really need Sabonis. But if we're going 86 to 90, Paul George wouldn't be bad at all. Damian Lillard, I mean, Dame could cook up a little bit. I don't like 89 overall Westbrook. It's 86 to 90. It's tough. But do I go Paul George, versatile guy? I mean, 33, but still can put up numbers. Or do I go Damian Lillard, who could put up numbers off the bench? I'm not liking Trey Young. Paulo Bencaro could hoop at 610. This is tough. You know what? Let me get another big. Let me go Patrick Ewan. Just let me get another big, because we don't have enough. All right, so this is our new team. Scotty, Booker, Carmelo, Draymond, Pat Ewan, Wimby. Penny Hardaway, Iguodala, Rui Hachimuri, Michael Carter-Williams. Now we have 10 guys, but I don't want to play a 10-man rotation. They want to start Penny, Book, Pip, Iggy, Wimby, and then have these guys come off of our bench. I don't know if I like that. I really don't care for Rui and Michael Carter-Williams to play. So let's drop this to an eight man and then let's shake this up. Put Book at the one. All right, we're gonna put Scotty at the three. We're gonna put Melo at the two, swap Iggy and put Draymond in there. I don't know why Draymond has a cold ring next to his name i also don't know why he isn't playing more minutes so we're gonna drop that down put draymond's minutes up ewan comes off the bench and see what happens game one was simulated lakers win and they win by 13 so literally we are getting close and closer to our goal simulate here lakers win they win by 17 i don't know if anything changed Eagle Dollar, 22 minutes. Draymond Green, 30 minutes. Let's make sure coach didn't change anything here. Okay, everything stayed the same. That's fine. Let's go game three. Lakers win game three, and they win by 11. Book is hooping. Pip is hooping. Wimby's not doing as much as I want him to do. Draymond only played 29 minutes. I'm going to let 2K do it the way that they would do it. Okay, this is how they would do it. Wimby coming off the bench. 
Then we're going to simulate this game and see what happens. And the Lakers still win anyway. LeBron gets finals MVP. But they only won by two, which is not bad right there. Iguodala got a DMP. That's crazy. They let Rui get 12 minutes and Iguodala get a DMP. Interesting. All right, so we only got two more selections left. These two selections will replace our last two players. We are still on the tier three board. We only get two selections. Give me box number one. We get a GOAT, 96 to 99. Finally, somebody good. Now we get one more selection. Give me box number 30. We get another GOAT, back-to-back -back GOATs. Come on, baby. We get back-to-back -back GOATs, but we cannot pick anybody that's already on their team. I'm not gonna lie. So back-to-back -back GOATs. Who is our starting point guard? I think I got Book at point, right? Give me Luka. And then I guess I can go an elite big man. Shaq did not pick Kareem. So I could pick Kareem. Actually, give me Jokic, because I have not picked Jokic yet, and I feel like we could win games with Jokic. All right, so this is our team for our last chance. We got Jokic, Luka, Scotty, D-Book, Carmelo, Draymond, Pat Ewan, Wimby, Penny, Iguodala, Rui Hachimura. I'm going to let 2K do this, to be honest with you. I don't want to play. Okay, we can play a 10-man rotation. Rui does not get any minutes. They want to start Penny, Luka, Scotty, Iggy, and Jokic. I really don't like that. I don't understand what's going on here. Iguodala actually doesn't need to play at all so we could really run this down to nine man i don't care for iguodala to play they keep wanting iggy to play i don't like it i'm changing it i'm sorry luca at the one book at the two pip at the three and then give me draymond at the four nope give me Jokic at the four and then give me pat ewan at the five iguodala down here Wimby can get minutes over iguodala to an extent and if it doesn't work i'm gonna let 2k change it penny can lose some minutes pat ewan get some more minutes and then let, let's just work like this let's see what happens all right first game versus the lakers the lakers win and they only win by five so i'm not mad at that you know what i mean scotty led us in scoring luca Jokic did what he could game number two we get a win you see what i'm saying let me do my thing we literally won by 12 first win of the day let's get another one simulate it we got another one okay cool two one and we won that by nine and everybody's doing what they're supposed to do you see what happens when i kind of shake it up a little bit game here we're up three one come on we won by eight we're hopping into the sim cast let's see my team you know what i'm saying let's have this be a good game so we can see my team hoop that's all i want to see even if it's not a good game we're gonna watch them boys hoop a little bit oh we're literally blowing them out wow 220 we're up 14 hold on come on we have 14 points right now we got mellow luca scotty Jokic and Draymond in the game they got Curry Isaiah Allen Iverson Kobe and Magic Johnson they don't have a big man in the game Jokic is gonna eat over Kobe right now why'd you take it so long to score the ball what am I looking at I literally put this team together that board blessed us at the end with them two back-to-back -back goats I don't know if we would have won without them two goats but Kobe versus Jokic I mean he could kill Jokic every single time easy bucket from Kobe they gotta play a little pressure though we have 14 they want to bring a full court press I don't think they'll start fouling this early Steph Curry playing 94 feet of defense on Luka is crazy. If Draymond would have shot that over Allen Iverson, I would have clearly known something. If you shoot that, I know something too. Okay, Scotty throw it down to Jokic. He is guarded by Kobe. Kobe's not getting a stop there whatsoever. I literally, man, Jokic was a great pickup, bro. He got 26 points today. Magic, Curry, and Luka. Let's see what happens. I want to see Curry shoot a step back low key, but we are up 16. You know what I'm saying? Challenge is definitely complete. Curry almost shot the step back. Kobe pulls off a three. Missed it. I thought he was going to knock it down. You know what I'm saying? Luka pushing it. Give it to Jokic. If Luka and Jokic get together in the NBA, please watch out. I'm just saying, like, please watch out because they may, like, run the league for a minute. Jokic down there over Isaiah Thomas. Just get a ball to Yoke. I don't know why they're not playing with bigs, even though I see, like, Shaq, Timmy, and LeBron wanting to check in. It's still kind of bad that I don't see any bigs on the game. This is like a Steve Kerr thing. A three. This is a five-guard lineup, really. But three guards, little guards on the floor one time is insane. I hope, like, J.J. Redick doesn't do this for the Lakers. Steph knocked that down. Easy basketball. But J.J. Redick is our coach this year, and he's the coach in this simulation. I hope he doesn't do this. We keep giving the ball to Jokic, too. Like, keep working. Okay. Drops it off to Melo. Go get you on Melo. Hold on. Hit Luka. That's a great pass right there. Luka, you got to knock that down. Yo, it's easy rebound. Put it up over Kobe. Easy bucket. Curry, can I see a little step back, bro? Spin move. Okay, pass it off to AI. Get it back. Can I see a step back? Kobe finna set a ball screen. They really got Kobe playing a five. Step back three-pointer from Steph. That's what I wanted to see, even though you missed it. Push the ball, Melo. You know what I'm saying? Kick it up. Do something. We winning. So these boys, what you got? Okay, tween. Okay, pass Isaiah. Isaiah can't stop you, Melo. He can't stop you, Melo. And one. I ain't gonna lie. That's the game. They ain't getting no subs in. That's the game. We win by 20. Jordan had 22. Curry had 19. Kobe had 15, 5, and 4. Jokic had 39 and 3. 
Luca 23, 6, and 4. Penny 18, 3, and 5. Melo 16, 4, and 4. D Book 13, 3, and 7. We complete the challenge and go 4 1. Luca takes the finals MVP, and we literally beat Shaq's top 10. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure y'all drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and give me another team that y'all want to see me build a team to beat. I don't know how many I've done so far, maybe like three or four, but if y'all got a specific team that y'all want to see, let me know, and I'll see y'all next time.